Hey, Brad here. Let's talk about Newton's three laws of motion using roller skates. Whoa! And Thorbs! So let's start with Newton's first law of motion. All objects remain either at rest or in uniform motion unless compelled to do otherwise by some outside force. That might sound complicated, but it's actually really easy to observe. Let's say these orbs represent, well, anything. Newton's first law applies to all matter in the universe. If this orb is standing still, it'll keep standing still unless something crashes into it. Similarly, if it weren't for friction, this orb would keep coasting in a straight line until it crashes into something else. Newton's second law of motion is best defined by this equation, F equals ma, or force equals mass times acceleration. Now, it may not look like much, but this equation is actually a pretty big deal. But you'll appreciate that more if we cover Newton's third law first. So let's skip ahead. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now, I know you've probably heard that before, but let's think about what it actually means. It means that every time Chris hits a Zorb, or chest bumps a teammate, or checks me into this pillar, <laughs> Newton's law says Chris gets hit back just as hard. So why does he skate away like nothing happened? To answer that question, we'll double back to Newton's second law of motion. Again, the second law states that the force in a collision equals the mass times its acceleration. So if we did the math for each collision, we'd see that even though the forces are equal, because Chris has more mass than his teammate and the guy in that Zorb, he accelerates less than they do. And while this is evident when Chris crashes into something with less mass than him, it's even more painfully obvious when the collision happens between me and a pillar. Even though the force I exert on the pillar is the same as the force it exerts on me, the pillar has so much mass, its acceleration is effectively zero. Well, that's it for this episode. Go! Go! All right, okay, okay. You're right. Um, it wasn't the pillar's mass that kept it from accelerating. It was really structural forces acting within the pillar that canceled out the force my body applied. And honestly, there were many forces involved in all of the collisions we looked at. We tried to isolate the collision force as best we could. We minimized the force of friction, for example, by putting everyone on roller skates. And the other forces were small enough that you couldn't really see their effect on our motion. That's it for this episode. A big shout out to the Classic Fun Center and Utah Bubble Sports for making this episode possible. You'll find links to their sites along with more science and research opportunities for BYU undergrads in the description below. Oh!